and welcome back to Rocket League right here on the NECC. Once again, I am your host, Captain Atsoka, joined on the desk by none other than Fish. Fish, how are we feeling now that we finally have our game ready to go? Hey, I'm very excited. It sounds like the players are so excited they started before we were even ready, and I'm here for that energy, Captain. I'm here for these teams say let's absolutely get into this i'm excited for it it's week one of the necc you're the final game of the night on the stream what better way to go into your weekend do whatever it is you plan on doing than if you just absolutely smoke what are your opponents and for bradley uww i'm hoping they absolutely come out with a fire in their chest trying to start their friday with a big w well, let's see if they can get it done. Once again, it is going to be Bradley Braves Red going up against UWW or Whitewater Gray. Whichever one you want to go with, you could say UWW for short because I'll be honest, UW, Whitewater Gray just seems like a mouthful to me. So that's how I think we're going to address it. But without further ado, let's get game number one underway. It's a great job here by Bradley. They've got a chance on the attack here. Ricky's going to push that one away, maybe trying to get it up front and into the net, but not going to find it. One more chance for Canadian, but that one's going to be turned away. And UWW not out of the woods just yet. This ball is spiking down, but Ricky, the company should finally be able to get something going here. Well, let's see if they can. As you can see uh, right now, UWW Gray has an open net, and it will be Canadian to get the first goal on the board. Unfortunately, UWW really never got this out of their own end. Canadian gets a great little pinch goal there. Easy start for Bradley. We'll see what the Braves can do here on this next kickoff. They are dominant from start to finish, and right away, they get another one. And right off the kickoff we go. Bradley Braves wasting no time today. As finally, you can see UWW does clear the ball out and puts it in the corner of Bradley. Meanwhile, here comes the switch, the flick, but... Not able to get past the defender is now Jalik. We'll be taking a turn here over towards the corner. Gets the hundo boost and a demo on top of it. But no one to get the ball. That one's going to go back in the way of UWW Gray. Ricky there going to have possession. He's trying to get something started here. Gets a great little touch on it right in front of the net. Popped up in front. Here comes the member flying in. UWW can't find the back of the net. Now Canadian and company pushing forward. A little bit of miscommunication there. They're going to lose possession of the ball. Here goes Canadian uh, trying again to get out of their own corner, but this one will ring off the crossbar and finally go in as UWW Gray get the equalizing tying goal here in game one. Unfortunately, Bradley just triple committed and everybody missed the ball. Like Gola, who came flying in by this game up over 90 seconds into game one. See who can break this tie here. Is Gola going to put this over to the side? Alec now, possession for Bradley. Great demo there, right in front of the net for Canadian, but he pulled back. It'd be a smart play as UWW got a touch on it. And you see, that's exactly what I expect as time continues to go on that we're going to see a lot more back and forth because in the beginning it looked like the Bradley Braves were running away with it, but now you can see UWW Gray is striking back in a major way. It's that steal there. UWW trying to find some way to get that ball towards the net. They get a great center. Unfortunately, nobody was there. Now it's a chance for Bradley trying to get that momentum back. Jalik with a great touch. Looking for a rebound off the wall, trying to put it in front of the net for somebody. Canadian's there to make it 2-1. to one. That is Canadian's second goal of the day here at the NECC. And that was a great pass coming from Jalik, too. Being able to get that one pinched off the back wall and then out and towards the middle for Canadian to take a nice, clean shot and take the one-goal lead over UWW. Off kind of stalls there before Rick comes in. Flies right over the ball, unfortunately, and oh, it would have been a great goal if he could got that back shot on, and now it's a chance for Canadian. It's an open net. It's just a little bit off. Unfortunately, Bradley can't capitalize. Now back to the corner they go. You can see Jalik trying to look for another one of those cheeky passes, but they're not going to be able to get it to go, at least not yet. UWW Gray still playing some fantastic defenses. That one nearly goes off the mark for Bradley. Is now back to the corner. Ricky DeSig tries to get that one out, and finally, UWW get out of their own half. Ricky 
He almost had it on that shot attempt, but immediately hands it over to Jalik. He's gonna hit it high. There's a great rebound here, but unfortunately, I don't remember if Bradley was just a little bit too far behind. Stonewall near midfield at least gets a nice touch on it to get it over to that Bradley end. Here comes Ricky, but unfortunately, not going to make it there in time. Canadia gonna hop it over the corner, but looks like Stonewall should get a touch on it. Unfortunately, kind of fumbles it there. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of give and go here. And what I mean is, is that you, WW Gray, gives the ball away and then Bradley Braves decide to go with it. They're just constantly giving up possession at this point. And, you know, they're only down one goal. So if they can actually hold on to possession long enough, they might be able to find an opportunity to equalize. Be a great chance to get a possession. Stonewall carries it all the way around. They even had a miss from Jalik. Unfortunately, the rotation for UWW is just a little bit slow there now. Jalik and company with just over 60 seconds left trying to put this one away. Get a demo onto the goalie. He being going to pass it back. Gives it right over to Ricky in 60 seconds. It's still a one goal game. Yeah, and honestly, you know, I'm liking the bump and demo plays, the physical play that's coming out from the side of Bradley, because even though it's not leading to goals, it could definitely null a possible counterattack from UWW. Meanwhile, they are trying their hardest to find this equalizing goal and send us in the OT here in game one, but with only 35 seconds left to go, they're running out of time. Oh, this should be a chance for Bradley to put it away. They're right in front of the net at UWW, but they missed it. And Ricky gets a great touch. It's an open goal. And the UWW ties it with 24 on the clock. Well, there you go. That was the perfect counterattack play and a great 50-50 read coming from Ricky to Zig to send that one right back to the half of the Bradley Braves. And now we have ourselves a tie ball game with 24 seconds until overtime. Uh oh. Oh, I thought Canada would be able to get that one, but not quite. Eighty misses on it. Now E Bing back into the corner. Great little pinch there. That sends the ball zooming to the other side. Should give Bradley last possession here, but unfortunately, Cola has other ideas. That they do. Now with the final seconds taking away, this might be a last ditch effort to try and end it here in regulation, but that ball is gonna go to the side, and it will be overtime in game one. Kick up, Adian now. Great season, right back where it started. Ebing has it up on the wall. Oh, he's got an opportunity. He's looking to end this one early. Three members converge. And it's off the crossbar and reset to mid. And yeah, now you can see Bradley going to try and take control here as it will be Jalik trying to take the ball, but it is met by Ricky the Sig looking for the two tap off the backboard. But is slightly off target. Meanwhile, Ebing 100 tries to disrupt the defense there at the midfield line. Now has an opportunity, but can't get there in time. Oh, Stonewall. Couple of demos. Like maybe even one of the card parts hit that ball that looked really weird. But in the end, it's a shot on net. Nolik, last line. Makes a great save, but UWW still has it on that blue side. Stonewall shot way to the right. Unfortunately, this looks like it's going to hand it right back over to Bradley. Yeah, right now we're seeing a lot of opportunity here for UWW. They were able to control the ball and the pace mm. at the midfield as that one barely misses for Bradley right off the crossbar. And now you can see UWW has been forced off of their that midfield line that they were holding for so long and are forced back onto their own goal line. Great job here, Eving. You can see two members in net and he just sneaks it past. One of them got caught flat-footed, and they win it in overtime here in game one. That they do, and look at E-Bing right here, being able to get a fantastic read out of the corner, some of the trickiest spots to defend, and was able to take it all by themselves to get the game one win for the Bradley Braves. Really probably a game, I think, Captain, that Bradley probably should have had all along because I think if they play those final 30 seconds smarter, they win in regulation. They tried to kind of go for that... Put it away goal, make it three to one, absolutely overcommitted. So I think they're probably kicking themselves, but Ebing made sure the team brought it home and didn't lose anything because I thought they had it in regulation. And then they kind of got way too aggressive for having a, a late lead.
Yeah, and when you're, you know, when you're breaking it down, you can see that the Bradley Braves didn't even have a higher shot count than their opposition, but they did have more saves, which to me is absolutely insane. Being able to really stay inside of your own net and constantly reject every single shot coming from the other team. But with that being said, you cannot sit back and wait on the defensive plays all day. Eventually, UWW Gray, if you la allow them to take a considerable amount of shots, will find the back of the net. So let's see if the Bradley Braves will be able to hold on to their 1-0 series lead as we head into game two. Well, Jalik up on the wall. Both of them end up having to abort of it. It's going to be Evening, the hero of game one, who gets a great touch. Pass over to Jalik. It's deflected, however, and Canadian's going to have to retreat as UWW survives the first aggression for Bradley. Yeah, and look at this. Already trying to find the back of the net. Bradley nearly being able to get it to go, but the shot's just off the mark. Meanwhile, UWW Gray decides to take a turn on offense. A little mind game, mind trickery there at the midfield line. E Bing once again tries to take control, but it will be Gola to get the touch right past the midfield line, but it is deflected rather easily by the Bradley Braves defense. Alec, oh, one on one, and Gala makes a great save. Thought maybe he had it, but Ebing still there. Gonna get a touch on the ball, has full boost. Great chance here. Now, Canadian to get this one up. Gallic gonna take a shot. Oh, it's just high, Captain, but the follow from Ebing turned away at the goal line. You see, at first it felt like w, uh, UWW Gray were the team that were having all of these opportunities but not putting them on target. But now the Bradley Braves, they're all over the net, but they're not putting it in the right spot. The shot placement just barely off. They keep hitting it into the defenders of UWW Gray. And if they were to just place the ball a little bit to the left or a little to the right, they'd be able to get past the goalie. But time and time again, they're being denied. Rolling. had a great little dribble there. Open up, as you mentioned, UWW doing a great job kind of denying what Bradley wants to do. And now they have the ball on the aggressive. Oh, Stonewall with a huge miss. That gives possession to Ebing. It's a one-on-one, -on -one, but a huge demo. You just saw it in the middle of your screen. Makes it so Bradley has to retreat. And now Ricky the Sig trying to take control here, but they give it away to Jaleek, who's now going to go up way up high, looking for the double touch, but just soared a little bit too high. Meanwhile, you do have Ebing and Canadian who are kind of shadowing one another, and they really need to give one another a little bit more space. You've got to give your teammates enough space in order to pull off some plays. Meanwhile, Canadian doing just that, taking this one out to the corner, but Jaleek doesn't get the touch. A great chance here, trying to center it up. Unfortunately, Canadian took a weird route at the ball, and Ricky going to put it in for the first goal. Took us a while, but it's one to nothing, UWW. And it looked like there was a double commit there on the field. Uh, not so sure, but it was a fantastic play coming from both Gola and Ricky the Sig. The one-two give and go off the backboard to find the first goal of game number two. And now the Bradley Braves working from a deficit. Up that deficit quickly here, Canadian, right in front of the net. Oh, he had the ball rebound to him. Jolic's shot goes wide. That, he couldn't have got a better start. Unfortunately, he just couldn't convert, Captain. And, you know, that's the real difficulty here. And that's what separates uh, the good teams from the better, from the best. And, of course, the wheat from the chap and the cream of the crop is it's one thing to start the play. It's one thing to get the opening. It's another thing to confirm goals. That is the difference maker between a better team and the best team. And so let's see if the Bradley Braves can not only start a play, but finish it as, again, another play deflected by UWW Gray. Might be whatever team plays better. Defense is going to win this series. You called out how good Bradley was in game one. This time it's UWW who's racking up the saves. Minute 30 on the clock, trying to hold on to a 1 0 lead. Ricky gets a nice clear over Jolic and unfortunately misses. He being one on one versus Gollin. Once again, UWW defense and Stout. That they do. Canadian now tries to go off the backboard. Does have a teammate there. It's Jalik in order to find the back of the net. And once again, Fish, we have a tie ball game. Leaks had so many close chances. Finally finds that one. Top shelf, please. A great way to start your Friday. Now it's one to one. We'll see. This kickoff if Bradley can get another great start. Let's look at that way. And you know, there isn't a whole lot of time left. Don't get me wrong, in Rocket League, a minute might as well be an hour. But with that being said, when you're looking at overtime, oh, it could happen, but I don't know. UWW Gray might not want to go to OT. 
Stonewall saying they're not going back to back OT. What a shot! Past two defenders. That's where you just, you know, you throw the GG in the chat on that one. You can't knock that off that. That is a fantastic shot. If UWW can hold on. We saw one team blow 2 1 lead. If UWW can hold on. Well, here we go off the backboard. UWW Gray looking for an answer. Meanwhile, E Bing does came take control here with a little bit of boost remaining able to get it past at least one defender gola hits this one down towards the middle and a huge demo could open something up here for bradley but unfortunately jaleek just simply couldn't keep control of the ball pass goes to the mid canadian puts it on and puts it in we have a tie game at two goals apiece great teamwork here by everybody ebing with the setup jolik with the demo Canadian with the fantastic shot rolling it past two to two and all of a sudden time looks like it's in our favor here 40 seconds left Can somebody break this tie I doubt well here you go Gola trying to break it already by going up high but it is denied by Ebing now Stonewall is able to trade this one out back towards the middle here comes Ricky the Sig already has one goal today Looking for another tactical whiffs there. Hashtag faking from UWW Gray. As now Gola will try again, only to uh, be found by Ebing as this one goes right back into the UWW Gray half. And now Ricky the Sig gonna try again from out of the corner. Here comes Jalik, but no, Canadian gets there first. Time continuing to tick away. This could be the last chance. Jalik throws oh. one up high, oh. and it will go in from the midfield line. What a shot from Jalik! I didn't know if that ball was gonna get down low enough. It just barely does. What a fantastic replay. There's still two seconds left. Keep the ball in the air, obviously. Extend those final seconds, but that's not how you want to start the kickoff. They might even get another one! Ebing says, it was never close. We go 4-2 in game two in favor of Bradley. Oh yeah, we take those calculated indeed an amazing game coming from the Bradley Braves and I got to tell you it was a demo please. The demo please was the difference maker in that one. The Bradley Braves were literally all over the defense coming from UWW Gray and they simply did not give up on the pressure. They had over 10 shots on target and then were able to get the saves to boot. So not only were they on top of things on the offensive side of the ball but they were just as good on the defensive side as well. Yeah, they were fantastic. And man, Bradley took about four minutes to finally get going there, Captain. It looked like that was UWWs the whole way. But that shot from Jalik, my goodness, felt like a like golf game. You're just like, come on, come on, bend, get down. And it just barely sneaks in. What a play. And I don't know who I take here. Even though Bradley's won two in a row, Captain, these games have been so close. We kick off game three. I'm not sold this is going to be a sweep kite quite yet. Oh yeah, the scoreline definitely doesn't do it justice. Meanwhile, you have a huge banger coming out from UWW Gray, but it is defended by Ebing. And now goes back down to Jalik, looking for the long ball off the backboard. And the follow-up does get 50 out. And now Ebing is gonna take a turn off the backboard again. Here comes the follow-up from Canadian, but it's deflected and cleared away. Nice save on the goal line, the hero of game two, trying to get things started here. Great pass over to Ebing, but I don't think they're on the same page. So Ebing ends up giving possession. One off the crossbar, two off the crossbar, and three goes wide. Multiple misses by UWW means it's Bradley's turn to take the offensive. Hey, but hold the phone a second. You got to remember, at least UWW Gray is taking control and taking possession away from the Bradley Braves. Even when they take those shots, you know, it goes to the sidebar. It misses off target. Those are still more shots they're getting on the board and more opportunities they are creating. Now, once again, they have yet another opportunity to play a little offense. Great job there by Ebing. Kind of tying things up on the ball. Trying by Stonewall to center it up. But Ricky can't get there in time. Now it's Canadian trying to get it over to Jalik, but it can't quite. It's intercepted by Gollin. Once again, as you said, the opportunities to be going UWW's way. But as I say that, Ebing had a chance. Kind of fell out of the sky. Oh, yeah. It looked to me like they was going to go for the Philip Flip reset, but just couldn't get all four wheels on the ball. Meanwhile, the ball will find its way back into uh, UWW great territory until... It is carried away, and now we're just seeing a little bit of a long volleyball being played here. Just long serves back and forth, and no team really taking full control. 
be a chance for Ricky, but it hits the crossbar. Oh, you can see the confidence he pulled off. He was ready to celebrate instead. We stay at zero apiece here, but it's been all UWW in game three. Finally, Jalik trying to get this down into the corner. Maybe has a chance. Ball bounces around him and really can't corral it. Even going to rip a shot nowhere close to the net. Once again, Bradley finds himself on defense, but maybe not as Jalik gets a huge clear. And you see, that could have been a good shot. It was just slightly off target, and now Gola comes away with the clear as this ball does find its way back towards the middle, and it will be Gola again to take possession, but does get beat out at the midfield line. Ricky the Sig tosses this one up high. Now Jalik with an opportunity, cuts it like a knife, puts the shot on, but it doesn't go in. Canadian able to finish the job, and now we have the first goal of game three. I don't think the league could have got any closer. He hit about four different angles there, but Canadian comes flying in. Gives Bradley the lead, and they're now 220 away. Starting the season off. Let's go. See if they can get it done. Is Jalik off the kickoff? Just why? I'm telling you, if the crossbar had stats, it would have like three savior medals already. But Jalik will find the back of the net here, trying to get their own medal started off of this insane lineup from the corner. Ooh, did Canadian maybe redirect that? Looks like on the replay, he might have got a touch on it to help Jalik out, and then Jalik pushed it in, but we'll never know. Set two nothing. Canadian off the kickoff, gets another one. Still time for UWW as Ricky gets it right in front of the net. Can't find a shot. No, they cannot, but they still have this two goal cushion right at two minutes. It's time now ticking away against UWW Gray. This is a very awkward position for UWW as Bradley is going to try and hold on to this insurance goal. Meanwhile, Canadian looking to get a third here, not being able to get it to go. The ball now going down and by the wayside, Stonewall. Not a lot of boost to work with, has to leave it go as Ricky the Sig and now gets 50 50 by the Braves. Out into the corner again. Gola able to get the touch now back down to the ground only for Jalik to take control again. And we're seeing a lot of this aggression, but it more often than not, not leading to a goal, but is shaving a lot of time off the clock. Exactly what I think Bradley wants to do, especially after game one where they kind of lost it, but a third goal always helps. As Evie fancy a little teardrop there. Makes nothing. Oh yeah, faking, big faking here. Going up for the double touch. Nah, I'm just going to let it drop. There you go. E Bing able to find the back of the net again. And now Bradley Braves go up 3 to 0 over UWW Gray. Oh, do I have four? Oh, the crossbar. Makes its ugly head once again, but Bradley's not too concerned. It's already 3 0 here in game three. Z Bing looking to really put this one away. Takes a shot. It does get denied, however, in UWW. He said a minute can feel like an hour in Rocket League, and if you're the losing team, it feels like 10 seconds. They're trying to come back here. But he being a company not going to allow it. Oh, nearly an own goal there from Gola, but it is going to be stopped. Jalik Canadian pushing forward. Bradley got to be careful. Don't allow any open net goals later on, and maybe give UWW a chance here as Stonewall takes a shot, and this might be the final rally here for UWW if they want to extend this series, or even maybe close the gap in this game. Yeah, they would have to score one goal every 10 seconds from here on out if they are going to try and equalize. And I'm not so sure that the Bradley Braves are going to let that happen. 20 seconds left to go. Bradley is absolutely solidified after a shaky first and second game here. Ebing and company looking to really just pad those stats. Gets it around one. It will be clear. 10 seconds left. I don't about do it here for UWW. They do get one last rally. In the end, it will be Bradley picking up that 3 nothing win. And will we let the ball touch the ground? It's about the last game we get to play here. And then once again, a goal with zero seconds left to make it 4 nothing. Oh, absolutely. You got to get those consolation goals just to have something to take home with you on the road. Nothing wrong with a celebratory final second goal for the side of the Bradley Braves. A fantastic series throughout. Able to pick up the 3-0 sweep over UWW Gray. A truly spectacular game all the way through from start to finish. And a well-deserved GG's to the Bradley Braves. Yeah, game one, kind of shaky. They smoothed it out from there, and a fantastic job, as you said, by Bradley UWW. I think, again, you said as we started game three, score line, the series line, not indicative of how close this was. Game three, I think, more of an outlier, so a fantastic job by UWW.
AEW. But I think that is going to do it for both you and I today, Captain Osaka, on the NECC Secondary Channel. What a way to kick off the week with some fantastic Rocket League, some fantastic games all around. We're coming back at you next Monday with some Valor. But if Rocket League's your thing, we'll be here Friday for some more Rocket League action. Have a good Friday. We'll see you guys next week.